cats are carnivores that have highly specialized teeth. There are four types of permanent dentition teeth that structure the mouth. 12 incisors, 4 canines, 10 premolars and 4 molars. The premolar and first molar are located on each side of the mouth that together are called the carnassial pair. The carnassial pair specialize in cutting food and are parallel to the jaw. The incisors located in the front section of the lower and upper mouth are small, narrow, and have a single root. They are used for grasping and biting food. Deciduous dentition teeth A cat also has a deciduous dentition prior to the formation of the permanent one. This dentition emerges 7 days after birth, and it is composed of 26 teeth with slight differences. The mouth will have smaller incisors, slender and strongly curved upper canines, vertical lower canines, and even smaller upper and lower molars. Although the upper and lower molars are smaller than the ones that arise during permanent dentition, the similarities are striking. Tongue The cat's tongue is covered in a mucous membrane and the dorsal aspect has five types of sharp spines, or papillae. The five papillae are filiform, fungiform, foliate, valet, and conical. A cat's sense of smell and taste work closely together, having a vomeronasal organ that allows them to use their tongue as scent tasters, while its longitudinal, transverse, and vertical intrinsic muscles aid in movement. Here's cat ears redirect ear. For the plant species, see cat's ear. For chemonomimi, a feature of moanthropomorphism, see moanthropomorphism animals. A cat's ear which has special fur for sensing and protection 32 individual muscles in each ear allow for a kind of directional hearing. A cat can move each ear independently of the other. Because of this mobility, a cat can move its body in one direction and point its ears in another direction. Most cats have straight ears pointing upward. Unlike with dogs, flap-eared breeds are extremely rare. Scottish folds have one such exceptional mutation. When angry or frightened, a cat will lay back its ears to accompany the growling or hissing sounds it makes. Cats also turn their ears back when they are playing or to listen to a sound coming from behind them. The fold of skin forming a pouch on the lower posterior part of the ear, known as Henry's pocket, is usually prominent in a cat's ear. Its function is unknown, though it may assist in filtering sounds. Nose. A cat's nose is highly adapted. Cats are highly territorial, and secretion of odors plays a major role in cat communication. The nose helps cats to identify territories, other cats and mates, to locate food, and has various other uses. 6. A cat's sense of smell is believed to be about 14 times more sensitive than that of humans. The ranarium, the leathery part of the nose we see, is quite tough to allow it to absorb rather rough treatment sometimes. The color there is according to the genotype, genetic macup, of the cat. A cat's skin has the same color as the fur, but the color of the nose leather is probably dictated by a dedicated gene. Cats with white fur have skin susceptible to damage by ultraviolet light, which may cause cancer. Extra care is required when outside in the hot sun. Legs. Cats are digitigrades, which means that they walk on their toes just like dogs. The advantage of this is that cats, including other digitigrades, are more agile than other animals. This is because all animals usually have ground reaction forces, GRFs, at around 2 to 3 times their body weight per limb. Digitigrades have a higher GRF compared to other animals due to the increased weight on a smaller surface area, which would be about 6 times their body weight per limb. Cats are also able to walk very precisely. Adult cats walk with a 4-beat gait meaning that each foot does not step on the same spot as each other. Whether they walk fast or slow, a cat's walk is considered symmetric because the right limbs imitate the position of the left limbs as they walk. This type of locomotion provides sense of touch on all four paws that are necessary for precise coordination. The cat's vertebrae are held by muscles, rather than ligaments like humans. This contributes to the cat's elasticity and ability to elongate and contract their back by curving it upwards or oscillating it along their vertebral line. 
general locomotor patterns of a cat. Cats are also able to jump from larger heights without serious injury due to the efficient performance of their limbs and ability to control impact forces. In this case, hind limbs are able to absorb more shock and energy in comparison to the forelimbs when jumping from surface to surface, as well as steer the cat for weight bearing and breaking point. Thanks for listening, and please subscribe to this spectacular zoology channel for more bodacious videos.